This be the witch, man. Freak of nature. <laughs> More interesting things from my mind. Lungs. Geralt of Rivia. Ah, ha, yes. Sit with us, witcher. Hey, um, who are you guys? Found your message on a notice board. Apparently I did. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. What did I just get in short, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Probably is. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. They are both the sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Oslo, let me help you. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Oh, they yeah, usually are. Completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. That's also Doesn't true. happen in these lands. Ever. <laughs> if they do not hear my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Pomerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. I mean, I was actually looking for some pants, I think it was, but sure, I'll help. Come in. Oh, great. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. Three. I count one, two, three. The fucking dog, they're taking slaves. Fuck, contemptible mm -hmm. cars. Man, they're quick. <laughs> he mean us. I, Palmer and Delonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off while we lose our patience, and you lose something else. Well, we tried. Kill him. Hey, wait, Zorg. These lads are lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts. <laughs> you ought to listen to him. Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. 
Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the Heron you will pay with your own blood! Well, we tried! By the crane! Villains, ready your arms! Well, the prophecy has failed. That's dead. <laughs> Numbers of it. Uh, Try to surround me. Okay, I'm getting out of the archers over there, so. He used to be. Come on! Oh, that was weird. For a moment, it was like everything just kind of paralyzed. Uh, Rose? What are you doing there? Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantrus, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. Isn't there a shit around here? Yeah. Do you have an arrow for you? Holy Come, shit! Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. You have an arrow for you! It's broken out your back! Holy shit! I'm kind of impressed you're walking around with that. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... Is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most Honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved, answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Cross City's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Well, oh, that's a nice invitation. Shall you answer her call? 
Well, tell me more about the beast. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Well, so it's either behold a slender man or a flying mouth. So it was magic. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, no hurt, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Well, that's quite the tizzy. Anyone tried trapping it? Anyone tried to hunt it? Knights Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. So, tourney. Mentioned a uh, tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. Hmm. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. I'll take it. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Hmm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Whoa, whoa, whoa we're not ready to go! I have to fly. Fly. Wait, Wait! Wait! No! I'm not ready to go! Halt! I have pants I need to find! I didn't loot all the bandits! Help! I'm being kidnapped! Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. by a terrible medieval power ranger! Someone let me go! I have pants to find! I guess I should have refused it, but it didn't occur to me that that meant go ahead, along with it for now. I should have guessed as much. First time post, I see I flee back to the country. Oh, this is a nice place, though. Toussaint, the land of fluff and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. It is a pretty place. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. Oh, now I've got to involve in a little bit. I don't know if you'll see it. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? 
I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Great. Can you let me go now? Okay, what the fuck, guys? Just arrived and already a giant wants to smash me with a windmill. What the fuck? But you can kill him with us! Honestly, I'll... There. Uh, this is stuff that should be saved for later, that is not what I want to do. Him, but could only hope to beat him with the it is a bit of a friends. problem in this game that occasionally Wild I just blunder into with things. Powerful magic. So Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach too began to lay plans of his own. I mean, really, this should, this chapter should not be I take a contract or refuse a contract, because I can't imagine in character care who refuse the contract. So it should be I'll take the contract or I'll take the contract, but I have stuff I need to do first. That would make more sense. Attracted by people talking and look more shiny and stuff, because sometimes that me means that um, you know there's an event going on or something like that that I can interact with. Not another step, or there'll be one corpse more. So, what's the hell's going on here? Listen, I... Behind you. If you think I'm gonna fall for... Oh, you fucker! Arms! To arms! Monsters are coming! <laughs> Anyway, so... Thank you. If not for you, that would have been the end of us. Sure as spring. Witchers. Ah. Oh. Leave it be, but uh, yeah, man, be careful. Might want to look around some. Wait, were 
these ghouls just stacked up inside this little cave? I'm not even sure what's going on in this mad place. But I'm going somewhere else. Yeah, that. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. I think we should stop here for today, but I'm trying to figure out what we'll do next time. What will we do next time? Oh, well, there's this. It's actually been a while since we got that one. Yeah. Yeah, we might actually be able to get some real good armor to complete this. Yep, yeah, we'll go do that next time. For now, this has been Eric Cooper, this has been Let's Play The Witcher Free Blind. See you all around.